Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to send Gmail emails for new Zendesk tickets. So every time a ticket is raised in Zendesk, a notification mail will be sent to the support group or any person who is supposed to resolve the issue. So we are going to create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect for this purpose where our trigger will be the new ticket created in Zendesk and our action will be to send mail via Gmail. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we are going to learn how can you send an email as a notification about the new ticket that has been raised in your Zendesk. Let us quickly sign in into our account. That will take me to this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create the automation today. Click on access now and we will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you'll see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as send Gmail emails for Zendesk tickets, click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will have trigger and action windows and these plus buttons are given to add more action steps to this workflow. Make sure you've opened your Zendesk and also the Gmail account where you will be sending a sample email about the workflow. Let us understand what is the work of trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this which means that trigger is the, going to be the first application where we are going to perform the event manually, like creating a ticket in Zendesk. But the action application will be the last application where the action will be performed automatically. That is a notification mail via Gmail. So let us choose our trigger application as Zendesk and the event is going to be new ticket. Now, once you select the event, you have to connect Zendesk and Public Connect in such a way that there are multiple actions that can be performed in Zendesk. But only when a ticket is raised, then only a response should be received over here. For that, you have to follow all these list of instructions and use this webhook URL given to you. Let us learn how to do that. Go to your Zendesk account and find views over here. This is views. Here you can see the already existing tickets in front of you. Go to manage views from the left panel. Reaching here, you have to find from the left panel apps and integrations. When you reach to apps and integrations, find webhooks and click on webhooks. Here you have to create a webhook. Click on create webhook and then select what kind of an event it is going to be. Zendesk event or trigger or automation. For an automation, we are selecting a trigger. Click on trigger and go to next. Add details. So I'm going to add a detail like Gmail notification is the name of my new a newly added webhook. Description is optional. In case of endpoint URL, you have to copy this webhook from here and paste in this endpoint URL. So the request data is post and the format is JSON that is given to you over here. You have to select it accordingly. Okay. And then you have to click on test webhook. So this sample will be appearing over here and click on send test so that the webhook is used and you will receive a test over here. This is how a ticket is raised and then you receive the information about that ticket. So we have sent a test over here. Click on create webhook and your webhook is created. But now we want to add a trigger. Right now we created this webhook and we were able to send this response manually. We just did it right now. But we want a response to be received whenever this trigger takes place. So go to object and rules from the left panel again. And then here you will find in business rules triggers. Add a trigger and then enter a trigger name. So you write over here, ticket is created. Okay, description again optional, category is notification that notify whenever a ticket is created. Conditions, so you have to add a condition where a ticket is, find ticket from this list is created. Okay, any of the condition? No, all of the condition is that whenever ticket is raised. In actions, you have to notify the active webhook select notify active webhook which webhook is active gmail notification that we just now created erase these curly brackets because we have the format over here that you are going to copy from here and paste it back over here no error if there is a red cross make sure you copy and paste it all over again and then click on create the trigger is also created which says ticket is created okay so like it's done now we have to create or raise a ticket. So for that, click on recapture webhook response. Now again, it is waiting for a webhook response. Go back to views and here you can add a ticket. Go to add from left top corner and ticket. Who is the requester? So you can add a requester over here. Assignee, who is assignee? You are assigning it to support group. 
फॉलोअर्स एनी नॉट नेसेसरी वॉट इज द टाइप इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम प्रायोरिटी नॉर्मल सब्जेक्ट यू हैव टू गिव द टाइटल टू योर टिकट लाइक दिस इज माई टॉपिक एंड हियर आई विल राइट द डिस्क्रिप्शन दिस इज माई डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ क्लिक ऑन सबमिट एज न्यू and the ticket is saving coming back to our workflow you will receive a response now ticket url title the status is open priorities here the group to which it's assigned is support group the email address of your account and the assignee name is also given over here and in this description you will see that you have received this response okay now this is done you have received a response what else is need to be done the next step and the final step that you have to send a gmail to a person who is assigned to do this work so there might be just one person who will be resolving all these issues click on connect add new connection and because it's a google account you have to connect with your google account choose your google account and click on allow authorization successful now in case of recipient email address and all these details you will be composing a mail so recipient email address is going to be for the person who is the resolver of all these issues so maybe the in your company there is one person who needs to get this detail about the newly raised ticket assignee of this ticket that is that is this person will get a notification automatically because he is the person using this application but you want to send a notification to one of your support group member as well so i will send this to this support email address where the support group can receive this ticket raised email all right cc bcc is for person you want to send multiple people so then you can do that what is the sender's name the sender name is this assignee who has assigned the task the subject can be the title of your ticket and the content is type of plain so content you can write a ticket has been raised and then you can map the ticket over here All right now this is done please resolve as soon as possible and then in the end we will write okay now we have drafted a email over here and the file name or attachment if any you can add it over here simply click on save and send test request you received a response where it says that the email has been sent so let us open our gmail inbox and check this email over here i have entered a sample email address to show you that yes the email get me sent you can you have to enter over here the specific person whom you want to send these regular messages in an automated way close this window and let us go to gmail so this is my inbox and here i have received a mail which says hello support group this is the ticket that was raised and this is the description of the ticket please resolve asap thanks which means that we were successful in sending a mail to the support group which means that whenever a new ticket will be raised in zendesk the support group or any place where you want to send this mail as a notification can be sent with the help of this workflow this was the whole video i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you